In this video, we're going to learn how to find the norm or the length or the magnitude of a vector. All three of those terms mean the same thing. If we're working in two space, it's just a variation on the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If you were to solve for C, you would get the square root of A squared plus B squared. Notice the notation for norm, length, magnitude. Not every textbook uses the double absolute value bar. Some textbooks do boldface on that, but your textbook does it this way. Um, if we're doing three space, it's pretty much the same thing, just adding an additional c squared. So let's go ahead and norm this. So we're going to go square root of 1 squared plus negative 3 squared plus 2 squared, which is 1 plus 9 plus 4. And the square root of that would be the square root of 14. That is the norm, or you could call it the magnitude, or the length of that vector. Let's do another one. We have find the magnitude, and this time it's in ij form instead of component form. Notice it's a two-space vector, so we're going to go 3 squared plus negative 5 squared, so 9 plus 25. Square root that bad boy, and we get square root of 34. And this time I'm going to call that the length of my vector. In example 3, find the length of 2i plus 4k. Notice there's something missing. We've got i, j, k form. So this is a three-space vector, and the j term is missing. So we need to think about this as 2i plus 0j plus 4k. Now, if we want to norm that, we've got 2 squared plus 0 squared plus 4 squared, so 4 plus nothing plus 16, square root of 20. You're going to want to reduce that to 2 root 5, and that would be the magnitude of our vector. I do want you to pay attention anytime something is missing, because that will come up in further videos.